All right, Coach, just uh, your first thoughts coming off the end of that match. Heartbroken. Um, yeah, it's really, it's, it's sad because, again, the girls work so, so hard and they care and they want it and just some things are not clicking. Um, we created more chances today. We, we changed the formation up to a 3-5-2, which definitely helped us going forward. Um, I think the fitness levels just, just killed us ultimately and um, I think we're just completely deflated and, um, you know, when it rains, it, it sort of storms. But um, there are a lot of positives to take. It's just hard when it's, you know, where it's been week after week of just, just negative results. So, but... We pick ourselves up, we dust ourselves down, and we've still got two more games. And that's what I keep relaying to the girls, is that it's not over until the fat lady sings. And, um, and we've still got two more games, so we're going to keep on going, one foot in front of the other. Of course, you talked about that 3-5-2 helping you guys going forward. Speaking of going forward, Annalisa Vincent got her first goal for CFC today. What was it like watching, that, uh, watching her finish today? Well, I thought she was probably the best player on the field. I thought she set the tone for us in terms of pressing. I think she... She worked so, so hard. Um, I didn't want to take her off, uh, but I had to just to kind of give her that rest that she needed. Um, and for her to get the goal again, it was all about the, the hunt. And she wanted it and she fought for it and she even got the penalty as well. So she proved today how much of a threat she was. Um, and she definitely showed us the qualities that we saw when we were recruiting her. So um, great goal, great performance from her. And um, hopefully she can bring that into next week as well. Of from here on out, every game is away. How does that change your approach for the rest of the season? It doesn't. It doesn't. Whether we're home or away, uh, the game is still the same. So we go in with the same mindset. Um, you know, we want to compete. We want to fight. We don't want to use any excuses, uh, whether it be the heat, whether it be traveling. Um, so we'll just go in with that same mindset of expecting to put in a performance that people are proud of. Um, and trying to you know, get, that, get that second win of the season. So um, for us, the mindset is to get, get as many results as we can out of the last two games and try our best uh, at minimum not to, not to lose. Of course, this upcoming Saturday is that next game against FC Nashville. What are you looking forward to for that game? I think for us it's about, you know, we want to score more goals um, and we obviously want to stop conceding as well. So I think it's all about creating a balanced performance that complements each part of the field. Um, defending one-on-ones really well. Can we combine a little bit better? Um, can we support better in the final third? Um, we're going to have to go a little bit harder in training this week just to get that fitness levels up because I feel like we're, we're struggling when it comes to the end of the games. And then just just pumping in the mindset of, hey, like when we do score, like you can't get too excited. We've got a job to do. And then, you know, making sure we keep keep the, the door locked at the back and don't don't concede right after like we have done in previous games. So um, for us, it's going in with the mindset of that we believe we can win um, and truly forgetting about what's happened the last few weeks and going in with a fresh mind, ready to go. Of course, you're not new to Chattanooga. Of course, you played here as a goalkeeper for the men's side, but mm-hmm. this is your first season coaching the women's team. Mm-hmm. What's it been like from a new perspective coaching CFC rather than playing for CFC? An honour. Huge honour. I love this club. I believe blue. Um, and for the club to give me the opportunity to serve serve the girls, serve the club in this way and be able to give back, um, I'm so grateful and I'm, I'm gutted that we haven't been able and I've not been able to deliver the results that the club deserves and the fans deserve and the players deserve. Um, I take responsibility for, for the results, um, especially the ones that we lose and the girls take responsibility for the ones that we win. So... Um, I'm just truly grateful for the for the board members, for the owners, um, for Rod and, and Alton for giving me this opportunity because, like I said, I, I played for the club for numerous years. I know what it means to be a part of this club and to be at the helm of, of the women's programme where there's so much growth and to be able to leave an impact on it, whether it be due to results or due to helping people believe in themselves more um, as a person. That is the legacy, like I said to Hayes at the beginning of the year when I joined, that's the legacy that I want to set is... I want these girls to know how much a coach cared for them and that they can use that moving forward into the rest of their lives when they leave here. That's the, that's the aim, that's the goal. Is there any other thoughts that we didn't speak about that you think it's important to add? Um, just, yeah, I know I say it every week, but the supporters are incredible at this club and not just the supporters, but everybody at this club who works behind the scenes. So there's people here... You guys in, in communications and media relations, there's, there's people who set up the, 
the the game day operations, the people you know in the um, in the backroom staff, my coaches, um, the players, the people doing all the the ticket sales. Like it's not just a team that makes the club tick. It's the people within, and there's so many departments that deserve recognition. Um, I can't name them all, but I I I want them to know that me as Tom, I see you, and I'm I'm grateful for what you do because. It, it matters and everybody, it takes an army to, to create something special and we have an incredible army here at Chattanooga Football Club and um, I thank them for everything that they do and I try to let everybody know how grateful I am for the work that they put in and I, I make sure to thank everybody every day because they need to know and sometimes people don't get told enough, you know, like a thank you and, and good job. So that's my aim and, you know, that's the impact I want to leave on the club, you know, yeah. <laughs>